today I will be showing you how to make an appetizer with mainly products from the Dollar Tree. So I'm starting out with my fries. Now these buffalo style wings I got from Walgreens, they were $2.69. These loaded potato sticks are from the Dollar Tree, they were of course a dollar. The Texas toast was from the Dollar Tree. This delicious Su Ming orange chicken is from the Dollar Tree. So I got a pan and I'm going to go ahead and put everything in the oven that I can put in the oven because ultimately I do not want to fry everything. Guys, I do want to mention this is a very delicious, cheap way to make a appetizer, you know, slash dinner, I guess, for two to four people, depending on how greedy y'all are. Okay, so I'm going to set that packet to the side and go ahead and dump my orange chicken into my pan. Normally, I get two boxes. Two boxes is enough, trust me, for three people, four people. Okay, also I had two pieces of swai fish that I am going to add to my appetizer. I'm going to defrost my packet of orange chicken sauce into the water. So this is what my appetizer looked like and I'm going to place that in the oven. I decided to do some vegetables so I'm doing some California blend. That bag was $2 for that ginormous bag. Okay, here are my two dancing fish, and I'm going to go ahead and season them. I'm going to start off with a little bit of garlic. Definitely going to add some of my turmeric. And the flavor I was going for was lemon pepper, so now I'm going to add the lemon pepper. Now on that one side that I didn't season, I'm going to use my meat seasoning. And it's by, um, I can't remember the name of this company, but it's like a Jamaican company. So I am going to turn those two pieces of fish into fish nuggets, fish sliders, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so I'm going to add some cornmeal to my fish. Um, I didn't want to use any flour. Uh, this The cornmeal does give it a crispiness that I really, really love. So that's why I opted to use the cornmeal. So I decided to go ahead and use my pan to fry it so I can fry it all at one time. Plus I am just moving so all my pots and stuff are like all over the place. So I'm just going ahead and flipping the fish over so now I can fry it on the other side. And I must say this method in this um, pan 
it's wonderful like i love to do it you can do chicken like this you can do fries anything that you need to fry in a big you know mass you can even use two of the ice on the stove with a bigger pan and cook double the portion so it's really really um it doesn't take up a lot of time so I'm just draining my grease off of the fish now and I am placing it to the side to prepare to put my fries into this grease. And here are my fries being dunked into the pan now, and I'm going to fry those up. I'm going to go ahead now and put the sauce onto the orange chicken since it's defrosted and i am done guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you're not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe if you have any requests for any quick meals please let me know put them in the comment section or always you can email me thanks for watching and i love you all bye